following up and new for you tonight at 6. The Pueblo County Coroner's Office has identified the man killed in an officer-involved shooting late last night. That's some of the crime scene video. 55-year-old Stephen Peters fatally shot after Pueblo police say he fled from them on scene, then produced a handgun, they say. News 5 Sam Kramer, he's been tracking this all day long. You spoke with police today. They first tried tasing Peters, right? Yeah, Rob, that's correct. At first, the officers opted for less lethal force, but police say Peters was wearing a thick jacket, which protected him from the taser. Now, Peters started a foot pursuit, and that's when, according to police, they saw a gun in his hand. And after multiple commands to drop the weapon, police say Peters still refused to comply. That ultimately led officers to use lethal force. Now, it's the second officer-involved shooting in Pueblo this year, and it's actually impacting the same exact night shift of officers. Now, just two officers were placed on administrative leave following last night's shooting compared to eight in the January shooting. This incident began with a restraining order violation in issue. Captain Kenny Ryder says police see quite often. We see restraining order violations all the time. Uh -huh. um, and it's something we deal with on a regular basis. Um, typically, it doesn't end like this. So. The 10th Judicial District Critical Incident Team, which features officers from multiple agencies, now has control of the ongoing investigation, and we're expected to learn the names of those two officers involved sometime next week. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Sam Kramer, News 5. Sam.